Good morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in San Diego. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Wednesday, September 18th. You'll be interested to know, today is National Cheeseburger Day. We owe this delicious celebration to Lionel Sternberger, who at just 16 years old in 1926, invented the cheeseburger at his father's sandwich shop, the right spot in Pasadena, California. Enjoy those toasted, drippingly good cheeseburgers today, thanks to Lionel's culinary creativity. So now you know. And now, it's time for the surf report. Expect knee-high swell with occasional thigh-high sets from Wednesday through Saturday. On Wednesday and Thursday morning, conditions will be glassy with light offshore winds becoming bumpy in the afternoons as winds increase. Friday and Saturday mornings will also be semi-glassy, turning semi-choppy in the afternoons. Wednesday at Tourmaline and South San Diego. It's looking glassy until 11 at two feet. After that, it will get a little choppy midday and then fair for your sunset session. Best time to ride is at 6 a.m. with a two-foot incoming low tide when the southwest swell is one feet at 16 seconds and the onshore wind is two mile per hour. The first high tide Wednesday will be five and a half foot at 10 a.m. with a zero foot low tide at four. This morning, it's mostly cloudy and feels like 62 degrees with no wind. The sunset will take place at 6.49, and it will rise again tomorrow at 6.35. It looks like we're in for a mostly sunny Wednesday with a high near 71 and a light breeze. Tonight, expect mostly cloudy skies with a chance of rain showers after 11, a low of 63, and calm winds. Looking ahead in the weather, expect a chance of light rain showers on Thursday, clearing by mid-afternoon. Daytime highs will be in the low 70s. The nights will be mostly cloudy with patchy fog developing late. Sunny skies return for the weekend with highs reaching the low 80s. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real South, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in their amazing Eggs Benedict or their gluten-free crepes. You can grab a panini for lunch or just breeze on through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from eight to five. So stop on by and don't forget to tell them, Sunny Morning sent you. In local news, Del Mar, Solana Beach, and the Del Mar Fairgrounds have reached a joint resolution regarding a rail relocation project. This agreement aims for a mutually agreed upon process to choose a new rail alignment, allowing the San Diego Association of Governments to relocate train tracks from the eroding Del Mar Bluffs. The agreement follows a notice of preparation from June, which proposed three routes that face significant opposition. Both Solana Beach and the Del Mar Fairgrounds were surprised by one option, Alternative A, due to its potential construction impacts, while residents of Del Mar opposed Alternatives B and C, which involve tunneling. Now on to sports. The Chicago White Sox are enduring a historically bad season, marking the worst performance in baseball in a century. Surprisingly, this misfortune has sparked joy among their competitors in the American League Central Division. As the White Sox chase a piece of miserable history, the Cleveland Guardians are on track to win the division, while the Kansas City Royals and Minnesota Twins hold wildcard spots. Even the Detroit Tigers are making a late push, showcasing a remarkable turnaround for this division, traditionally viewed as a punchline at the expense of wealthy franchises like the Boston Red Sox. In local sports. Last night, the Padres lost a hard-fought battle to the Astros, 
four to three in 10 innings at Petco Park. Manny Machado's two run homer in the sixth inning tied the game at three, but Kyle Tucker's RBI single in the top of the 10th gave Houston the lead for good. Michael King delivered another strong outing for San Diego, going seven innings with just two earned runs, but the Padres couldn't capitalize on late scoring opportunities, leaving eight runners on base. With the loss, San Diego remains three and a half games behind the Dodgers in the NL West, and every win is becoming critical as they fight for a playoff spot. This afternoon, the Padres have a 340 first pitch against the Astros as Dylan Cease takes the mound. In top news, a new nonprofit organization called the Decentralized AI Society has been launched by industry leaders to combat the potential monopolization of the artificial intelligence industry. Michael Casey, the former chief content officer of Coindesk, is serving as the chairman. In an interview at a blockchain conference in Singapore, Casey stated, the decentralized AI society is acknowledging the fact that centralized platforms in the AI era have a massive head start. They own all the data, they own all the compute, and I would say they own the regulators. In business news, the stock prices of major entertainment companies like Disney, Paramount, Sirius, and Warner Brothers Discovery have significantly declined this year. In contrast, the Standard & Poor's 500 and the Dow Jones Industrials are reaching new highs. These companies fall under the consumer discretionary category, meaning their products are often the first to be skipped when budgets are tight. Disney, for instance, has seen a drop from a peak price of $122 in late March to $92 today marking a 24% decline over six months. The price also dipped to $84 in mid-August. In crypto movement, Bitcoin is just over $60,400. Ethereum is just under 2,400. And Solana is $132. Moving on to a more local vibe. In our community spotlight on health and wellness, we are working with a national Pilates studio to bring you some free classes, so listen up. Check out Club Pilates with several locations in the San Diego area. Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach, cultivating strength, reducing tension, and elevating mental well-being. Scientific research affirms its benefits. So now you can check out Club Pilates for a free class with locations in Encinitas, Solana Beach, Oceanside, La Jolla, and more. Just be sure to tell them Sunny Morning sent you by. And now back to the show. Let's talk science. Chickadees, those adorable, bandit-masked visitors to backyard feeders are beloved across North America. Their skills in spotting predators make them valuable to other birds, and their boldness allows them to snatch seeds from people's hands. Scientists have focused on the overlapping ranges of the black-capped chickadees and Carolina chickadees, creating a surprising natural experiment in species boundaries. Research shows that human activities, including climate change and habitat alteration, are reshaping these relationships. This study of hybrids reveals significant insights into how species adapt and interact in our changing environment. And in entertainment news, Sean Diddy Combs has been denied bail and ordered to jail as he awaits his trial for serious charges, including sex trafficking, racketeering, and transportation to engage in prostitution. This decision comes following a three-count federal indictment that accuses Combs of exploiting his extensive business empire to abuse, threaten, and traffic women, all while safeguarding his reputation. Prosecutors in the Southern District of New York allege that Combs, along with his security and household staff, created a criminal enterprise involved in various serious offenses, including forced labor and bribery. Well, alrighty, folks, 
it's time for the quote of the day. And today, our quote comes from the Argentinian footballer, Lionel Messi. And he said, I prefer to win titles with the team ahead of individual awards or scoring more goals than anyone else. I'm more worried about being a good person than being the best football player in the world. When all this is over, what are you left with? When I retire, I hope I'm remembered for being a decent guy. And that's a wrap for this morning. You can check out our Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok for some captivating aerial videos with local news and the surf reports. Have an amazing day, my good friends. We'll see you tomorrow with another episode of Sunny Mornings in San Diego.